I think um, the Houthis have s fired a number of drones and missiles at Israel before, just none of them have got through. I think what's bizarre about this particular case is that the IDF claimed that the reason it got through was human error on part of the IDF side. So if it was human error on part of the IDF, then why are they launching a massive attack on civilian infrastructure in Yemen? I think this indicates that the Israelis are wanting to send a message uh, rather than anything, hoping that this will de-escalate. If the Houthis do fire more missiles and they get through, because previously they haven't got through, I mean, the US and UK attack, attacks have targeted or attempted to target missile launch sites and have been ineffective in trying to actually stop the Houthis attacking shipping going into the Red Sea. Or, and, and so what's really interesting about this, the US, these attacks have proved that they cannot stop or degrade the Houthis' missile capabilities. Israel will be well aware of that. Israel will also be well aware of where intelligence says Houthi missiles and sites are. So why then, if they are aware of this, are they attacking civilian infrastructure? Because they're thinking, oh, well, the attacks on missile sites haven't helped. We're going to do what we normally do in Gaza and bomb civilian infrastructure as a form of deterrence. Like it is forward. a widening of the conflict. We are seeing a widening of the conflict. I don't think we're on the precipice of a widening of the conflict, which we always talk about, you know, is it going to escalate, go further into Lebanon or Yemen? We're seeing it now. It's happening.